boys and girls, I'm happy that we're here to make some art. Um, today we're going to be making a building out of a recycled box. So I'd like you to go and look somewhere in your house for a box that you could use for this project. So you could use cereal boxes, you could use oatmeal boxes, those that are round, you can use shoe boxes. So any box that is kind of cardboard. And for instance, I'm going to be using just a Cheerio, a Cheerios box. And um, this workshop was inspired by a workshop that I took um, just last week at Art From Scrap. They did a Zoom uh, little workshop and they do them on Wednesdays. So I highly recommend them. It was really fun. And this is where I got the, this really cool idea. So um, after you have your box, you have two options. You can, if you have acrylic white paint, it is best to just paint the whole box white. And then when it's completely white and dry, you can go to the next step, which will be to decorate with paints. So I'll show you an option. For instance, uh, one that I made, first it was white, and then I painted it uh, using paints. And um, we're gonna paint it on all sides. So it's kind of a Mexican house with decorations and lots of small details. And this was just all painted. But if, and again, I used um, acrylic paints. So I highly recommend acrylic paints for this project. Otherwise, if you use watercolors or tempera paint, um, watercolors will not be um, strong enough. They're too transparent. And tempera paint will eventually kind of crack. And that's not fun. So these ones are really fun because if you make many of these, imagine that maybe your little brother or sister or even your parents can make one of these boxes and you can make a whole fort. You can build a city and that's really cool. And you can just stack them up and play with them. These can become uh, large Jenga blocks, but you can also just put them side by side and they're really fun. Um, or even on display on your wall, you know, they turn out really, really pretty. The other thing that you could do is you can cut a hole in them. So for instance, this one is another box. This is my daughter, Sophie made this one and then she decorated using uh, paint pens if you have those at home. So hers was a crush cake um, store on this side and then you can even open up the doors so you can help have your parents you know with an exacto knife just help you open the doors and then this could be a little house for you know your your dolls your your soft animals and then you can even decorate inside and you can make a little furniture with toilet paper rolls so it's a really really fun project so this was hers and this was a box of milk and really hard cardboard so it's really sturdy um, another option is smaller boxes she really liked these um, project so she painted this box white and then all pink acrylic paint and then with paint pens you know added details so now we have you know a whole city that's starting to build here now if you do not have um, acrylic paint at home you can still this, do this project really easily okay so this one is the same Cheerios box but it's inside out. So for instance, um, and this one was done with pastels, oil pastels, completely oil pastels. And I'll show you how we're gonna make that. So let's say that you do not have paint. I'll show you several options, but basically you would just open this box up just like so. And then, and these boxes are really easy to open, really, really easy. And I will use this part, which is just a brown paper, to um, uh, work with markers and oil pastels. So it's, that's also an option for you. And before we get started, I just want to share some ideas for the decorations of our house. So these um, inspirations come from two different books. This one here, 
you know how I love books. This one is called Pocket What Colors, and there is one specific page that shows us a kind of a city and with all kinds of retro buildings. And you can look at different shapes of windows, of, of, uh, of doors, of doorsteps, of lamps, of signs, chimneys. So this is one that is this style, it's kind of retro. And then this one is in this book, which is called How Cities Work. And there is a few pages that I'll, sh I'll put up where we can see stores and coffee shops with all kinds of uh, really cool details that you can incorporate in your building. So this one here, you could make a library, you could make a school, you can make a zoo, uh, you can make city hall, you can go to the movies, you can be a hotel, so many different um, options. And last but not least, I'll show you one, a few, a couple of paintings that we had done last year in an after-school program that has really beautiful, um, you know, details. So this was a painting project, but we can use these ideas on our buildings. So I'm going to put this up here so, so you could see shapes of windows, of trees, of um, staircases, tree, so all kinds of things. So. I am going to go back and get my box and paint it white and I will see you in a little bit. Alright boys and girls, so the first option um, for our box, our building or our store is if you were not able to paint the box white because you don't have paint at home there is a really good option in one of these boxes, so a box that you would use, these are really good because you can undo them and redo them. So I'm just going to um, open it up like this, this is really easy. And what we're going to do is actually color the inside, which is a really nice color of brown. So one side will be the front and one side will be the back of my building. So I'm going to start with Sharpie. And I will be drawing large shapes for my building. So this building will be uh, perhaps a pastry shop. So I'm going to um, add a really nice door here, large doors. So I'm using a Sharpie. And you can even use different color Sharpies if you have. I prefer them to markers, but if you only have markers, use markers, regular markers. And let's see, our pastry shop will have for sure a large door and perhaps a large window. And then we have to have maybe an awning. I want to try and see what would happen if I took a different color, but still a darker color. So this is going to be a purple for my awning. And maybe some so this is to protect from the sun so I'm going to do a scalloped edge so think about your lines your lines right now are really important so I'm just going to connect these lines here go all the way and we will color this later using um, markers or oil pastels at the top, I have to put my um, the words pastries. So I'm gonna write it first instead of putting a box. So pastries, and I will do my bubbles later. Bubble later, bubble letters a little bit later. So first, it's a simple line, paste tree, pastries. And I will do bubble later in, in a little bit. Then I'm going to think about what I will have on the side of my building. So here's the sides right here. I don't have to lift it right now. Um, maybe I could have a tree because this is the sides. So when you turn a corner, maybe in here I'm going to have a nice 
big tree uh, gives us a little bit of greenery and then on the back side of my building maybe I can have um, let's see just a building so a really cool building that has interesting details so it's going to be lines like this and different types of windows maybe they're kind of off and then at the top here it's going to be all coming all the way here and then some long lines so this is just kind of an apart maybe an apartment building and here are some more windows remember keep your shapes large enough that it's you know easy for us to color and then the roof maybe the roof will be kind of a little bit different so like that and here and maybe a dome Right. <clears throat> and then maybe I can have a door and some steps right here. So if I choose to do steps, I'm going to make some rectangles, maybe a little door here. This is the side door. And then maybe some more windows. This could be just a different building that we're seeing from the side. So these are my main lines and then I can add you know some more details so for instance if I want the doorway to be like this if I want to have other details for my windows if I wanted to have my sign be kind of a little bit more fancy so I'm gonna do something like that here and then I'm going to start actually coloring using different types of oil pastels so I am going to use I would suggest that you use any type of oil pastels that you have. Um, so these ones are some water soluble oil pastels. You can also use crayons. And then these ones are just our regular oil pastels. So I'm going to start coloring and you can test. This is kind of a place where you can test your colors because we will not see this, this part. So test your colors and see how they look on cardboard. So this one is very light and I can't see it, it's very transparent. So maybe if I added white under, then I can't see my colors way better. So this is a good uh, tip to know. So I think I am going to make um, the pastry shop maybe a little bit of a shade of red. So I'm gonna start coloring around my shapes and adding details so i will continue and i will see you in just a little bit
am going to fold it back and this little strip here I'm going to fold it back this way and then this one will have to glue right here so I'm just gonna show you it's kind of like a seam right there and if you happen to have a glue gun at home and an adult that can help you it works I think better with glue gun but otherwise use white glue instead of a glue stick because it is a little bit stronger or you know your parents might have you know a glue that's strong in their garage I just use a glue gun if you don't have a glue gun they do have some at the 99 cent store that are 99 cents but make sure that your parent helps you use it my rule in my class in my art camps is that you have to be an upper grader and have supervision to use a glue gun so I'm going to try to make it even oops let me make sure I didn't go I think I went a little bit too much down so you got to be really careful I have to unglue it and go back like this definitely want to help have some help so I might have to do it again so I think I have it right now so I'm just going to stick a little bit more glue here in the middle so this is I always start with the sides and then I just go down like that and it helps to have one of those um, close pins handy so you can just clip one side and clip the other side make sure it stays together while it's uh, drying so I'm going to do this side see like that is still a little bit going off so I might add a little bit more glue and then I'm just gonna push on it for a little bit so basically just go like that push so that this side really sticks together so you could even just hold on to it like that make sure there's no glue coming out so you don't burn your little fingers and while after this one is really well glued then I'm gonna go to the bottom part and just push them down so it's going to be this one here first like this like that and then I'm just gonna follow like this so and I'm gonna put a little bit of glue right here uh oh I ran out of glue this is kind of a team effort so it's really helpful to have somebody there while you're doing this to help so maybe you can be the helper while your parents glue this part and then we're going to do the top part of the house or the building same way like this so now I am going to glue this part and hold still for a little bit the great thing about these glue guns is that the glue um, dries and holds really fast so I can be done with my house really fast so here is my box I have to add a little bit here so now it is your turn to go and finish your box all right boys and girls I have my box that I painted white and the first step is to add all kinds of details 
so that we can know what type of building this is. So I'm actually going to look at an illustration that we made a while ago in one of my after school classes. And I see lots of different shapes of buildings that I really like. So I'm going to get inspired by these to make a cool building for our box. So I'm going to start maybe with some stairs at the bottom. So I'm just using a Sharpie. And I know that I will be painting this. So I want to make my shapes kind of big because it's harder to get small, small details um, when you have paint. So I'm just gonna keep shapes really simple. So I think that this one might be a hotel. So I'm going to put my sign here that says hotel right there. Actually, what I should have done is actually always write le your letters before you make your box because otherwise sometimes you end up having to squeeze your letters in there. So I'm gonna wait, hope that it fits and it does. I was just lucky. Here it is and then I'll have some kind of large shapes for imagine that this is some lights to tell us that the hotel is open. And I'm gonna add a couple more windows here. And maybe one large one here. Now remember, no details. The details will make them after we do our layers. So this is gonna be just kind of a start. And then you can also um, do the sides. So maybe on the side of my building, I'm going to have other windows, just like that. And maybe on the other side, I could have stairs, kind of like zigzags that tell me that these are stairs. And then on the back of my box, maybe I can have a store. So maybe it could be, um, I don't know, like a donut store. How about a donut store? So, so that when you go have your breakfast, I'm gonna have donuts. And maybe this could be actually inside a donut shape, like that. And that's a giant donut with a door right here. And maybe some large windows. And then later we can display, you know, things in the windows. So when I'm done with my line drawing, I'm going to start painting with my acrylic paints. So these are all acrylic paints and it's really recommended when you paint on cardboard, otherwise tempera paint uh, would start to peel off in a little bit. So I'm gonna see what color do you think my hotel would be. Maybe I'm gonna choose a yellow and I'm gonna paint. So acrylic paint, uh, you wanna put it on thick with very little water. So basically water just to clean your brush. And I'm going to continue adding all my colors and my paints and just cleaning my brush in between. And I will see you in just a little bit.
right, I am ready to uh, decorate my box a little bit more. So when your paint is dry, you can decide if you want to add more details. So I'm going to show you two uh, different options that you have. And I'm just thinking about what you would have at home that you could use. So you could use some oil pastels. So these are just regular oil pastels. These are water soluble oil pastels. They're just a little bit thicker. So on one side, I'm going to show you some oil pastels. And on the other side, I'm going to show you if you have paint, acrylic paint to continue adding details. So I'm going to think about colors that would show up. So um, always think about maybe a darker color. So I wanted to do an outline around the donut area. I'm going to test a color and see if it shows up. So again, these are oil pastels. So I'm going to go around. And since this is a little bit darker, it does show up. And these are a little bit thicker. So I'm going to use these. But again, um, remember to use whatever you have available at home. And, you know, it might look different, but actually it might look really, really cool. So um, there's, again, there's no right or way. It's all about, it's an experiment, you know, so you're experimenting with whatever you have. And then we'll see, we'll look at the difference if you had oil pastels or if you had um, paint, how it would look. So you can achieve different results um, with different materials. So I'm going to continue with my oil pastel and I will see you in just a little bit. So on this side, I am going to experiment adding details with paint. So I'm going to use my Ballerita brush, which is my smallest brush, to add some details. And again, this is acrylic paint, so use a little bit of water. And you're going to try to find out which colors show up most on, you know, on your background. So I'm going to see if I was to put any pink. I don't think it's going to show up. Let, let's find out. It does show up a little bit, actually. If I add a little bit of white to my pink, it will make it a little bit more opaque. And I think it will show up kind of well, so-so. So we have to kind of, again, try what works and decide also what look you want. So if you want a lot of contrast, which means that things, you know, will pop then maybe you need to add a darker color. So I'm going to keep this one for something else a little later. And I'm going to see what would happen if I chose instead a darker blue. And try to make your paintbrush nice and pointy. And I'm just going to go around here to make kind of like a frame. So I'm just going to be barely touching my window and going around to make some details. So I'm going to continue making adding details with my small paintbrush and I'll see you in just a little bit. <laughs> 